Translated by Bhikkhu Sujito. Sutta Central .net. Link Discourses 24. One Stream Entry 069, SN.24.1 SN.24.72, SN.24.1. Wines. At one time the Buddha was staying near Savathi in Jita's Grove. The Buddha said this. Mendicants, when what exists, because of grasping what and insisting on what, does the view arise, wines don't blow, rivers don't flow, pregnant women don't give birth, the moon and stars neither rise nor set, but stand firm like a pillar. Our teachings are rooted in the Buddha. He is our guide and our refuge. Sir, may the Buddha himself please clarify the meaning of this. The mendicants will listen and remember it. Well then, mendicants, listen and pay close attention, I will speak. Yes, sir, they replied. The Buddha said this. When form exists, because of grasping form and insisting on form, the view arises, winds don't blow, rivers don't flow, pregnant women don't give birth, the moon and stars neither rise nor set, but stand firm like a pillar. When feeling, perception, choices, consciousness exists, because of grasping consciousness and insisting on consciousness, the view arises, winds don't blow. Rivers don't flow, pregnant women don't give birth, the moon and stars neither rise nor set, but stand firm like a pillar. What do you think, mendicants? Is form permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But if it's impermanent, is it suffering or happiness? Suffering, sir. But by not grasping what's impermanent, suffering, and perishable, would the view arise? Wines don't blow, rivers don't flow, pregnant women don't give birth, the moon and stars neither rise nor set, but stand firm like a pillar. No, sir. Is feeling, perception, choices, consciousness permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But if it's impermanent, is it suffering or happiness? Suffering, sir. But by not grasping what's impermanent, suffering, and perishable, would the view arise, winds don't blow, rivers don't flow, pregnant women don't give birth, the moon and stars neither rise nor set, but stand firm like a pillar. No, sir. That which is seen, heard, thought, known, sought, and explored by the mind, is that permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But if it's impermanent, is it suffering or happiness? Suffering, sir. But by not grasping what's impermanent, suffering, and perishable, would the view arise, winds don't blow, rivers don't flow, pregnant women don't give birth, the moon and stars neither rise nor set, but stand firm like a pillar. No, sir. When a noble disciple has given up doubt in these six cases, and has given up doubt in suffering, its origin, its cessation, and the practice that leads to its cessation, they're called a noble disciple who is a stream enterer, not liable to be reborn in the underworld, bound for awakening. SN.24.2 This is mine. At Savathi. Mendicants, when what exists, because of grasping what and insisting on what, does the view arise, this is mine, I am this, this is myself. Our teachings are rooted in the Buddha. When form exists, because of grasping form and insisting on form, the view arises, this is mine, I am this, this is myself. When feeling, perception, choices, consciousness exists, because of grasping consciousness and insisting on consciousness, the view arises, this is mine, I am this, this is myself. What do you think, mendicants? Is form permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. Is feeling, perception, choices, consciousness permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. That which is seen, heard, thought, known, sought, and explored by the mind, is that permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But if it's impermanent, is it suffering or happiness? Suffering, sir. 
but by not grasping what's impermanent, suffering, and perishable, with the view arise, this is mine, I am this, this is myself. No, sir. When a noble disciple has given up doubt in these six cases, and has given up doubt in suffering, its origin, its cessation, and the practice that leads to its cessation, they're called a noble. Disciple who is a stream enterer, not liable to be reborn in the underworld, bound for awakening. SN.24.3 This is myself. At Savathi. Mendicants, when what exists, because of grasping what and insisting on what, does the view arise, the self and the cosmos are one and the same. After passing away I will be permanent. Everlasting, eternal, and imperishable. Our teachings are rooted in the Buddha. When form exists, because of grasping form and insisting on form, the view arises, the self and the cosmos are one and the same. After passing away I will be permanent, everlasting, eternal, and imperishable. When feeling, perception, choices, consciousness exists, because of grasping consciousness and insisting on consciousness, the view arises, the self and the cosmos are one and the same. After passing away I will be permanent, everlasting, eternal, and imperishable. What do you think, mendicants? Is form permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. Is feeling, perception, choices. Consciousness permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. That which is seen, heard, thought, known, sought, and explored by the mind, is that permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But by not grasping what's impermanent, suffering, and perishable, would such a view arise? No, sir. When a noble disciple has given up doubt in these six cases, and has given up doubt in suffering, its origin, its cessation, and the practice that leads to its cessation, they're called a noble disciple who is a stream enterer, not liable to be reborn in the underworld, bound for awakening. SN.24.4 It might not be mine. At Savathi. Mendicants, when what exists, because of grasping what and insisting on what, does the view arise, I might not be, and it might not be mine. I will not be, and it will not be mine. Our teachings are rooted in the Buddha. When form exists, because of grasping form and insisting on form, the view arises, it might not be, and it might not be mine. It will not be, and it will not be mine. When feeling, perception, choices, consciousness exists, because of grasping consciousness and insisting on consciousness, the view arises, it might not be. And it might not be mine. It will not be, and it will not be mine. What do you think, mendicants? Is form permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. Is feeling, perception, choices. Consciousness permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. That which is seen, heard, thought, known, sought, and explored by the mind, is that permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But by not grasping what's impermanent, suffering, and perishable, would such a view arise? No, sir. When a noble disciple has given up doubt in these six cases, and has given up doubt in suffering, its origin, its cessation, and the practice that leads to its cessation, they're called a noble disciple who is a stream enterer, not liable to be reborn in the underworld, bound for awakening. SN.24.5 There's no meaning in giving. At Savathi. Mendicants, when what exists, because of grasping what and insisting on what, does the view arise, there's no meaning in giving, sacrifice, or offerings. There's no fruit or result of good and bad deeds. There's no afterlife. There are no duties to mother and father. No beings are reborn spontaneously. And there's no ascetic or Brahmin who is well attained and practiced, and who describes the afterlife after realizing it with their own insight. This person is made up of the four primary elements. When they die, the earth in their body merges and coalesces with the main mass of earth. 
the water in their body merges and coalesces with the main mass of water. The fire in their body merges and coalesces with the main mass of fire. The air in their body merges and coalesces with the main mass of air. The faculties are transferred to space. Four men with a beer carry away the corpse. Their footprints show the way to the cemetery. The bones become bleached. Offerings dedicated to the gods end in ashes. Giving is a doctrine of morons. When anyone affirms a positive teaching it's just baseless, false nonsense. Both the foolish and the astute are annihilated and destroyed when their body breaks up, and don't exist after death. Our teachings are rooted in the Buddha. When form exists, because of grasping form and insisting on form, the view arises, there's no meaning in giving, sacrifice, or offerings. Both the foolish and the astute are annihilated and destroyed when their body breaks up, and don't exist after death. When feeling, perception, choices, consciousness exists, because of grasping consciousness and insisting on consciousness, the view arises, there's no meaning in giving, sacrifice, or offerings. Both the foolish and the astute are annihilated and destroyed when their body breaks up, and don't exist after death. What do you think, mendicants? Is form permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. Is feeling, perception, choices. Consciousness permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. That which is seen, heard, thought, known, sought and explored by the mind, is that permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But by not grasping what's impermanent, suffering, and perishable, would such a view arise? No, sir. When a noble disciple has given up doubt in these six cases, and has given up doubt in suffering, its origin, its cessation, and the practice that leads to its cessation, they're called a noble disciple who is a stream enterer, not liable to be reborn in the underworld, bound for awakening. SN.24.6 Acting At Savathi Mendicants, when what exists, because of Grasping what and insisting on what, does the view arise, nothing bad is done by the doer when they punish, mutilate, torture, aggrieve, oppress, intimidate, or when they encourage others to do the same. Nothing bad is done when they kill, steal, break into houses, plunder wealth, steal from isolated buildings, commit highway robbery, commit adultery, and lie. If you were to reduce all the living creatures of this earth to one heap and mass of flesh with a razor-edged chakram, no evil comes of that, and no outcome of evil. If you were to go along the south bank of the Ganges killing, mutilating, and torturing, and encouraging others to do the same, no evil comes of that, and no outcome of evil. If you were to go along the north bank of the Ganges giving and sacrificing and encouraging others to do the same, no merit comes of that, and no outcome of merit. In giving, self-control, restraint, and truthfulness there is no merit or outcome of merit. Our teachings are rooted in the Buddha. When form exists, because of grasping form and insisting on form, the view arises, the one who acts does nothing wrong, there is no merit or outcome of merit. When feeling, perception, choices, consciousness exists, because of grasping consciousness and insisting on consciousness, the view arises, the one who acts does nothing wrong, there is no merit or outcome of merit. What do you think, mendicants? Is form permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. Is feeling, perception, choices. Consciousness permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. That which is seen, heard, thought, known, sought and explored by the mind, is that permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But by not grasping what's impermanent, suffering, and perishable, would such a view arise? No, sir. When a noble disciple has given up doubt in these six cases, and has given up doubt in suffering, its origin, its cessation, and the practice that leads to its cessation, they're called a noble disciple who is a stream enterer, not liable to be reborn in the underworld, bound for awakening.
SN.24.7 cause. At Sabathi. Mendicants, when what exists, because of. Grasping what and insisting on what, does the view arise, there is no cause or condition for the corruption of sentient beings. Sentient beings are corrupted without cause or reason. There's no cause or condition for the purification of sentient beings. Sentient beings are purified without cause or reason. There is no power, no energy, no manly strength or vigor. All sentient beings, all living creatures, all beings, all souls lack control, power, and energy. Molded by destiny, circumstance, and nature, they experience pleasure and pain in the six classes of rebirth. Our teachings are rooted in the Buddha. When form exists, because of grasping form and insisting on form, the view arises, there is no cause or condition, they experience pleasure and pain in the six classes of rebirth. When feeling, perception, choices, consciousness exists, because of grasping consciousness and insisting on consciousness, the view arises, there is no cause or condition, they experience pleasure and pain in the six classes of rebirth. What do you think, mendicants? Is form permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. Is feeling, perception, choices? Consciousness permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. That which is seen, heard, thought, known, sought, and explored by the mind, is that. Permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But by not grasping what's impermanent, suffering, and perishable, would such a view arise? No, sir. When a noble disciple has given up doubt in these six cases, and has given up doubt in suffering, its origin, its cessation, and the practice that leads to its cessation, they're called a noble disciple who is a stream enterer, not liable to be reborn in the underworld bound for awakening. SN.24.8 The Extensive View At Savathi Mendicants, when what exists, because of Grasping what and insisting on what, does the view arise, there are these seven substances that are not made, not derived, not created, without a creator, barren, steady as a mountain peak, standing firm like a pillar. They don't move or deteriorate or obstruct each other. They're unable to cause pleasure, pain, or neutral feeling to each other. What seven? The substances of earth, water, fire, air, pleasure, pain, and the soul is the seventh. These seven substances are not made, not derived, not created, without a creator, barren, steady as a mountain peak, standing firm like a pillar. They don't move or deteriorate or obstruct each other. They're unable to cause pleasure, pain, or neutral feeling to each other. If you chop off someone's head with a sharp sword, you don't take anyone's life. The sword simply passes through the gap between the seven substances. There are 1.4 million main wombs, and 6,000, and 600 there are 500 deeds, and 5, and 3. There are deeds and half deeds. There are 62 paths, 62 sub eons, 6 classes of rebirth, and 8 stages in a person's life. There are 4,900 Ashivaka ascetics, 4,900 wanderers, and 4,900 naked ascetics. There are 2,000 faculties, 3,000 hells, and 36 realms of dust. There are 7 percipient embryos, 7 non percipient embryos and seven embryos without attachments. There are seven gods, seven humans, and seven goblins. There are seven lakes, seven wines, seven cliffs, and seven hundred cliffs. There are seven dreams and seven hundred dreams. There are 8.4 million great eons through which the foolish and the astute transmigrate before making an end of suffering. And here there is no such thing as this. By this precept or observance or mortification or spiritual life I shall force unripened deeds to bear their fruit, or eliminate old deeds by experiencing their results little by little, for that cannot be. Pleasure and pain are allotted. Transmigration lasts only for a limited period, so there's no increase or decrease, 
no getting better or worse. It's like how, when you toss a ball of string, it rolls away unraveling. In the same way, after transmigrating the foolish and the astute will make an end of suffering. Our teachings are rooted in the Buddha. When form exists, because of grasping form and insisting on form, the view arises, there are these seven substances that are not made, the foolish and the astute will make an end of suffering. When feeling, perception, choices, consciousness exists, because of grasping consciousness and insisting on consciousness, the view arises, there are these seven substances that are not made, the foolish and the astute will make an end of suffering. What do you think, mendicants? Is form permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. That which is seen, heard, thought, known, sought and explored by the mind, is that permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But by not grasping what's impermanent, suffering, and perishable, would such a view arise? No, sir. When a noble disciple has given up doubt in these six cases, and has given up doubt in suffering, its origin, its cessation, and the practice that leads to its cessation, they're called a noble disciple who is a stream enterer, not liable to be reborn in the underworld, bound for awakening. SN.24.9 The world is eternal. At Savathi, mendicants, when what exists, because of grasping what and insisting on what, does the view arise, the world is eternal. Our teachings are rooted in the Buddha. When form exists, because of grasping form and insisting on form, the view arises, the world is eternal. When feeling, perception, choices, consciousness exists, because of grasping consciousness and insisting on consciousness, the view arises, the world is eternal. What do you think, mendicants? Is form permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But by not grasping what's impermanent, suffering, and perishable, would such a view arise? No, sir. When a noble disciple has given up doubt in these six cases, and has given up doubt in suffering, its origin, its cessation, and the practice that leads to its cessation, they're called a noble disciple who is a stream enterer, not liable to be reborn in the underworld, bound for awakening. SN.24.10 The world is not eternal. At Savathi, mendicants, when what exists, because of grasping what and insisting on what, does the view arise, the world is not eternal. Our teachings are rooted in the Buddha. When form exists, but by not grasping what's impermanent, suffering, and perishable, would such a view arise? No, sir. When a noble disciple has given up doubt in these six cases, and has given up doubt in suffering, its origin, its cessation, and the practice that leads to its cessation, they're called a noble disciple who is a stream enterer, not liable to be reborn in the underworld, bound for awakening. SN.24.11 The world is finite. At Savathi, mendicants, when what exists, because of grasping what and insisting on what, does the view arise, the world is finite. SN.24.12 The world is infinite. At Savathi, mendicants, when what exists, because of grasping what and insisting on what, does the view arise, the world is infinite. SN.24.13 The soul and the body are identical. At Savathi, mendicants, when what exists, because of grasping what and insisting on what, does the view arise, the soul and the body are identical. SN.24.14 The soul and the body are different things. At Savathi, mendicants, when what exists, because of grasping what and insisting on what, does the view arise, the soul and the body are different things. SN.24.15 A realized one exists. At Savathi, mendicants, when what exists, because of grasping what and insisting on what, does the view arise, a realized one exists after death. 
SN.24.16 A realized one doesn't exist. At Savathi. Mendicants, when what exists, because of grasping what and insisting on what, does they? View arise, a realized one doesn't exist after death. SN.24.17 A realized one both exists and doesn't exist. At Savathi. Mendicants, when what exists, because of grasping what and insisting on what, does they view arise, a realized one both exists and doesn't exist after death. SN.24.18 A realized one neither exists nor doesn't exist. At Savathi. Mendicants, when what exists, because of grasping what and insisting on what, does the view arise, a realized one neither exists nor doesn't exist after death. Our teachings are rooted in the Buddha. When form exists, because of grasping form and insisting on form, the view arises, a realized one neither exists nor doesn't exist after death. What do you think, mendicants? Is form permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But by not grasping what's impermanent, suffering, and perishable, would the view arise, a realized one neither exists nor doesn't exist after death? No, sir. That which is seen, heard, thought, known, sought, and explored by the mind, is that permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But if it's impermanent, is it suffering or happiness? Suffering, sir. But by not grasping what's impermanent, suffering, and perishable, would the view arise, a realized one neither exists nor doesn't exist after death? No, sir. When a noble disciple has given up doubt in these six cases, and has given up doubt in suffering, its origin, its cessation, and the practice that leads to its cessation, they're called a noble disciple who is a stream enterer not liable to be reborn in the underworld, bound for awakening. Link Discourses 24 To the second round SN.24.19 Wines At Savathi Mendicants, when what exists, because of grasping what and insisting on what, does the view arise, wines don't blow, rivers don't flow, pregnant women don't give birth, the moon and stars neither rise nor set but stand firm like a pillar. Our teachings are rooted in the Buddha. When form exists, because of grasping form and insisting on form, the view arises, winds don't blow, rivers don't flow, pregnant women don't give birth, the moon and stars neither rise nor set, but stand firm like a pillar. When feeling, perception, choices, consciousness exists, because of grasping consciousness and insisting on consciousness, the view arises, winds don't blow, rivers don't flow, pregnant women don't give birth, the moon and stars neither rise nor set, but stand firm like a pillar. What do you think, mendicants? Is form permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But by not grasping what's impermanent, suffering, and perishable, would the view arise? Wines don't blow, rivers don't flow, pregnant women don't give birth, the moon and stars neither rise nor set, but stand firm like a pillar. No, sir. And so, when suffering exists, because of grasping suffering and insisting on suffering, the view arises, wines don't blow, rivers don't flow, pregnant women don't give birth, the moon and stars neither rise nor set, but stand firm like a pillar. Is feeling, perception, choices. Consciousness permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But by not grasping what's impermanent, suffering, and perishable, would such a view arise? No, sir. And so, when suffering exists, because of grasping suffering and insisting on suffering, the view arises, winds don't blow, rivers don't flow, pregnant women don't give birth the moon end. Stars neither rise nor set, but stand firm like a pillar. SN.24.20 SN.24.35 This is mine, etc. 
these should be expanded in the same way as Discourses 2 through 17 of the previous chapter. SN.24.36 neither exists nor doesn't exist. At Savathi. Mendicants, when what exists, because of. Grasping what and insisting on what, does the. View arise, a realized one neither exists nor doesn't exist after death. Our teachings are rooted in the Buddha. When form exists, because of grasping form and insisting on form, the view arises, a realized one neither exists nor doesn't exist after death. When feeling, perception, choices, consciousness exists, because of grasping consciousness and insisting on consciousness, the view arises, a realized one neither exists nor doesn't exist after death. What do you think, mendicants? Is form permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. And so, when suffering exists, because of grasping suffering and insisting on suffering, the view arises, a realized one neither exists nor doesn't exist after death. Is feeling, perception, choices, consciousness permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But by not grasping what's impermanent, suffering, and perishable, would such a view arise? No, sir. And so, when suffering exists, because of grasping suffering and insisting on suffering, the view arises, a realized one neither exists nor doesn't exist after death. SN.24.37 The self has form. At Savathi. Mendicants, when what exists, because of grasping what and insisting on what, does the view arise, the self has form and is sound after death. SN.24.38 The self is formless. At Savathi. Mendicants, when what exists, because of grasping what and insisting on what, does the view arise, the self is formless and is sound after death. SN.24.39 The self has form and is formless. At Savathi. The self has form and is formless, and is sound after death. SN.24.40 The self neither has form nor is formless. The self neither has form nor is formless, and is sound after death. SN.24.41 The self is perfectly happy. The self is perfectly happy, and is sound after death. SN.24.42 Exclusively suffering. The self is exclusively suffering, and is sound after death. SN.24.43 The self is happy and suffering The self is happy and suffering, and is sound after death. SN.24.44 The self is neither happy nor suffering The self is neither happy nor suffering, and is sound after death. Link Discourses 24 3 The third round SN.24.45 Wines At Savathi Mendicants, when what exists because of grasping what and insisting on what, does the view arise, wines don't blow, rivers don't flow, pregnant women don't give birth, the moon and stars neither rise nor set, but stand firm like a pillar. Our teachings are rooted in the Buddha. When form exists, because of grasping form and insisting on form, the view arises, wines don't blow, rivers don't flow, pregnant women don't give birth, the moon and stars neither rise nor set but stand firm like a pillar. When feeling, perception, choices, consciousness exists, because of grasping consciousness and insisting on consciousness, the view arises, winds don't blow, rivers don't flow, pregnant women don't give birth, the moon and stars neither rise nor set, but stand firm like a pillar. What do you think, mendicants? Is form permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But by not grasping what's impermanent, suffering, and perishable, would the view arise, winds don't blow, rivers don't flow, pregnant women don't give birth, the moon and stars neither rise nor set, but stand firm like a pillar. No, sir. And so, what's impermanent is suffering. When this exists, grasping at this, the view arises. Winds don't blow, rivers don't flow. Pregnant women don't give birth, the moon and stars neither rise nor set, 
but stand firm like a pillar. Is feeling, perception, choices, consciousness permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. And so, what's impermanent is suffering. When this exists, grasping at this, the view arises, winds don't blow, rivers don't flow, pregnant women don't give birth, the moon and stars neither rise nor set, but stand firm like a pillar. SN.24.46 SN.24.69 This is not mine, etc. To be completed in the same way as Discourses 20 through 43 of the second chapter SN.24.70 The self is neither happy nor suffering. At Savathi Mendicants, when what exists, because of Grasping what and insisting on what, does the view arise? The self is neither happy nor suffering, and is sound after death. Our teachings are rooted in the Buddha. When form exists, because of grasping form and insisting on form, the view arises, the self is neither happy nor suffering, and is sound after death. When feeling, perception, choices, consciousness exists, because of grasping consciousness and insisting on consciousness, the view arises, the self is neither happy nor suffering, and is sound after death. What do you think, mendicants? Is form permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. And so, what's impermanent is suffering. When this exists, grasping at this, the view arises, the self is neither happy nor suffering, and is sound after death. Is feeling, perception, choices, consciousness permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But by not grasping what's impermanent, suffering, and perishable, would such a view arise? No, sir. And so, what's impermanent is suffering. When this exists, grasping at this, the view arises, the self is neither happy nor suffering, and is sound after death. Link Discourses 24 For the fourth round SN.24.71 Wines. At Savathi. Mendicants, when what exists, because of. Grasping what and insisting on what, does the. View arise, wines don't blow, rivers don't flow, pregnant women don't give birth, the moon and stars neither rise nor set, but stand firm like a pillar. Our teachings are rooted in the Buddha. When form exists, because of grasping form and insisting on form, the view arises, winds don't blow, rivers don't flow, pregnant women don't give birth, the moon and stars neither rise nor set, but stand firm like a pillar. When feeling, perception, choices, consciousness exists, because of grasping consciousness and insisting on consciousness, the view arises, winds don't blow, rivers don't flow, pregnant women don't give birth, the moon and stars neither rise nor set but stand firm like a pillar. What do you think, mendicants? Is form permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But if it's impermanent, is it suffering or happiness? Suffering, sir. But if it's impermanent, suffering, and liable to fall apart, is it fit to be regarded thus, this is mine, I am this, this is myself? No, sir. Is feeling, Perception, choices. Consciousness permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But if it's impermanent, is it suffering or happiness? Suffering, sir. But if it's impermanent, suffering, and liable to fall apart, is it fit to be regarded thus, this is mine, I am this, this is myself? No, sir. So you should truly see any kind of form at all, past, future, or present, internal or external, coarse or fine, inferior or superior, far or near, all form, with right understanding, this is not mine, I am not this, this is not myself. You should truly see any kind of feeling, perception, choices, consciousness at all, past, future, or present internal or external, coarse or fine, inferior or superior, far or near, all consciousness, 
with right understanding, this is not mine, I am not this, this is not myself. Seeing this, they understand, there is no return to any state of existence. SN.24.72 SN.24.95 This is not mine, etc. To be completed in the same way as the 24 discourses of the second chapter. Link Discourses 24 For the fourth round SN.24.96 The self is neither happy nor suffering. At Savathi Mendicants, when what exists, because of Grasping what and insisting on what, does the view arise, the self is neither happy nor suffering, and is sound after death. Our teachings are rooted in the Buddha. When form exists, because of grasping form and insisting on form, the view arises, the self is neither happy nor suffering, and is sound after death. When feeling, perception, choices, consciousness exists, because of grasping consciousness and insisting on consciousness, the view arises, the self is neither happy nor suffering, and is sound after death. What do you think, mendicants? Is form permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But if it's impermanent, is it suffering or happiness? Suffering, sir. But if it's impermanent, suffering, and liable to fall apart, is it fit to be regarded thus, this is mine. I am this, this is myself. No, sir. Is feeling, perception, choices. Consciousness permanent or impermanent? Impermanent, sir. But if it's impermanent, is it suffering or happiness? Suffering, sir. But if it's impermanent, suffering, and liable to fall apart, is it fit to be regarded thus, this is mine, I am this, this is myself? No, sir. So you should truly see any kind of form at all, past, future, or present, internal or external, coarse or fine, inferior or superior, far or near, all form, with right understanding, this is not mine, I am not this, this is not myself. You should truly see any kind of feeling, perception, choices, consciousness at all, past, future, or present. Internal or external, coarse or fine, inferior or superior, far or near, all consciousness, with right understanding, this is not mine, I am not this, this is not myself. Seeing this, a learned noble disciple grows disillusioned with form, feeling, perception, choices, and consciousness. Being disillusioned, desire fades away. When desire fades away they're freed. When they're freed, they know they're freed. They understand, rebirth is ended, the spiritual journey has been completed, what had to be done has been done, there is no return to any state of existence. The linked discourses on views are complete. End SN 069, YouTube Video Buddhist Sutras HTTPS slash slash